Hey YouTube, what's going on? Abyssal Wave here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a video talking about Frost Decays, more specifically Horn of Winter versus Freezing Fog in the 57 tier, the second tier down. So we have Freezing Fog, which obviously Howling Blast, Frost Fever, Frost Fever isn't really the big thing, and the big thing is the Howling Blast, 30% increased damage when you stack Blast Radius, and if you have the helmet or not, this is an incredibly strong trait, and it is just, or talent and it is much stronger in AoE situations. Now we have Horn of Winter, which is a 30 second cooldown that gives you two runes and 20 runic power. So this is an incredibly good in single target where that Howling Blast extra damage isn't as big as it would be obviously in an AoE situation. So on bosses like Krosis, where you don't really get much cleave, you can, but you don't normally get as much cleave as you would want, or Star Augur. This was mostly a better deal in um, Emerald Nightmare and in Trials of Valor. Obviously, with Odin, you didn't really have any cleave. Guarm had zero cleave whatsoever. It was just Guarm. And in Emerald Nightmare, Mythendra, Ursoc did have a little bit of cleave. But in Nighthold, we have a lot of AoE bosses. That's why you see a Freezing Fog on every boss. With Parses, when you look at them... It's tough to see the value in Horn of Winter because most parses have Freezing Fog because a lot of them cheese adds. Well, if you're looking for straight boss damage, Horn of Winter is going to beat Freezing Fog most of the time. So I'm going to give you guys a little demonstration on which one is better. So first off, we're going to run Freezing Fog. Now to preface this video, I do have triple Howling Blast relics and I do have 48 traits. So I do have the extra Howling Blast. So let's start with the Freezing Fog rotation. So... You guys have probably seen this before. We build up a little bit of Runic Power, Pop Remorseless, Pop Pillar, use Breath of Syndragosa, and then Hungering, and then we just follow with Obliterate, Rhyme Prox, wherever we see fit. I am using Convergence and Chains of the Valorous with Mastery on it. So I'm just going to try to keep this up through one Hungering because a lot of people out there do not have the second one. Didn't get that Remorseless off. That's okay. That's not a big deal. So this is just a simple rotation. We're probably going to get a 30 second um, breath phase here. Maybe more. It's looking like a 35 second breath. And there we go. We had a 35.96 second breath with 12.88 million damage from the actual breath. And there is the damage from it. So not too bad. Howling Blast had 9.3 million damage. That's pretty good. It's nothing crazy. But it's definitely um, not as much as you would want. You would definitely want to be upwards of 12 million, sometimes even 15 million damage. But I did only get 12 Howling or Rhyme procs from that as opposed to the 16 Obliterates I did. Which is a decent proc, right? 16 Obliterates, 12 Rhyme procs. That's decent with a 65% chance. So I'll be back in 40 seconds for the Horn of Winter demonstration. All right, so back when we're going to start with the Horn of Winter side of the rotation. So just to preface this before I start, Horn of Winter does value outside of the breath. It does give you more obliterates in fight because you get this every 30 seconds. You get breath every two minutes. You're going to have about a minute to minute and a half breaths with Horn of Winter. So it does give you that extra cooldown to use to keep your rotation going. You have a much stable, more stable rotation Pop that, pop everything else, use Horn of Winter to start with our rotation. You can wait for some runes to come off CD before you actually start. That's fine, that's acceptable in this rotation. Pop Hungering there, and then as you can see, we popped Hungering at about 10 seconds into the breath phase, as opposed to with the Freezing Fog rotation where we popped it almost instantaneously. So we are going to get to our Horn of Winter in this uh phase so as you can see we're coming up on the point where we ended our first breath and getting decent frost empowerment procs pop horn there continue with our rotation i used that there so i could refresh my remorseless stacks and as you can see we're upwards of 45 seconds 46 47 50 seconds so that was a 52 second rotation with 17.6 million damage done. So let's compare that with our first one. As you can see, it was relatively the same Howling Blast damage. Now, why it was the same Howling Blast damage as opposed to our first uh, try with the Freezing Fog build 
is because we did have a 20 second longer breath phase. So obviously that extra 20 seconds, you know, that's about 30% more of the fight. The fight's going longer, more rhyme procs, more obliterates as well. Let's check to see how many obliterates we did. We did 24 obliterates as opposed to the 16 that we did in with the freezing fog rotation. And obviously our breath did 5 million more damage. So with this build, you're going to have very big breath phases. It's phenomenal in single target, but you're going to see a huge decline in AOE. So it's up to you guys to decide. I highly recommend trying both these builds out. This is obviously not better in Mythic Plus because Howling Blast is going to be about 30% of your damage on a Mythic Plus, but this does have its place in raids. So if you are not comfortable with the build yet, I highly recommend trying this build. If you are comfortable with the build, Freezing Fog does offer a higher damage output, especially with Heroism and in a raid setting, especially with the ring where you have two hungerings. So give me any questions down in the comments below if you have any, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.